There was the void. And from the void came the matter. And like a cancer floating within nothingness, the megastructure. Many sought to discover its secrets, but all failed. All, that is, except for Victor Garbanzos. He led the Infonet Corporation deep into the heart of the megastructure and vanished. For years he was gone, presumed lost like all others. But one day Victor returned. He emerged from the heart of the megastructure with incredible knowledge, unbelievable technologies, and immeasurable power. To the astonishment of the people, he declared that the worthy would no longer fear death, that the Infonet Corporation would forever preserve their souls in immortal metallic bodies. Metallic bodies called Denzels. At his command, the Denzels built the magnificent Golden City, Mecca to the Chosen, epicenter to all the knowledge and the power of the megastructure. All that was 212 years ago. The Garbanzos family and their Infonet Corporation still rule the megastructure today. No one knows what was found in the shadows centuries ago, or the true nature of the power that it gave. But the promised utopia was a lie. The Denzels aren't blissful, eternal vessels for devoted souls. They are the mechanized prisons of industrial slaves, bound forever to the will and whim of the noble corporation. Rebels fight against the tyranny, but their efforts are hopeless. Infonet's twisted armies are just too powerful. My name is Shinji Fallon. Once the engineer at Infonet, I was a part of their machine, and yes, I stood by as lives were destroyed, but no more. I will end this. My only hope is to know what they know. For that, I must follow in their footsteps and journey to the heart of the megastructure. I built my own Denzel, one beyond their control. I've manufactured Denzels before, but this one was different. This was creation, not construction. As the spark of her took hold, there was something. Something I didn't expect. Something I didn't even know that I was looking for. She, Cherry, gave life to me. She is my happiness. We shared a beautiful life together, but we still planned to find the truth. We just never got the chance. Because one night, infinite came for us.
why would I do this? Really should Just let her be Please I don't think so Wait Morning, kiddo. Wasn't sure if you were going to get out of bed today. Oh, yeah, gotta say, I felt better. You look better, too. <laughs> you have the nightmares again? Ugh, don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna take that as a... Jog Not even remotely. <laughs> I know it's confusing. Just give yourself some time. How about we talk about some good news instead? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Lay it on me. You should know already, Cherry. Can't you feel it? I surely can. Stress testing is complete, and I'm happy to report that your core structure is powered up and firing an alternative. Cookie Cutter is fully active. Whoa, 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 down there. Hold up. You're saying I'm good to go? You better believe it. All systems are in the clear, girly. It's finally time to bring Shinji back home. Hell yeah! Ugh, I've wasted enough time already. Freaking do this! Take care of yourself, Raz. I owe you one. When you're right, you're right. And you're right. <laughs> Listen, I know my timing ain't the best. <laughs> you don't waste any. Ah, uh, you know, it's got all my. Fine. Oh!